Once you say yes to directing a movie, what are some of the first few steps you're taking? Well, you've read the script. So usually the first thing is, let's now make the script better. Yeah, I usually want to get the script firing on all cylinders. Um, meanwhile, you're trying to put the best cast together. Um, it always starts there. And then once it comes to the film, I can't wait to start to visualize and shot list what the movie is. And you really can't do that until you location scout because that sort of determines what your shots are going to be a little bit. Um, so I just, that's, those are the first pro and you know, obvious things you start to, you either know a DP that's perfect or you start interviewing DPs, um, uh, certain roles like, like, you know, you know, you're going to use your editor and stuff like that. Um, but what I've learned about, um, a movie is it's like, it starts to have its own soul. So when creatively you're trying to figure out like, what color do we paint the wall? It's what's cool about a movie is it starts to answer itself. <laughs> like you look into the soul of the movie and you go, that's what it should be. Um, so I, I, I get excited when it, it starts to kind of become its own, you know, thing. I haven't had kids and everybody's like, you know, you haven't had kids. I'm like, well, right now I've had movies and they've been my kids. So I do feel like they take on their own life. Um, so it's about, you know, letting it start to become what it's supposed to be. It's a, it sounds very esoteric, but that is pretty much part of the process. And, and, uh, and as the pieces come together, it starts to, I don't know if it was always there or the, the, you know, was the soul of it there and then you add on it and it evolves or, or does the soul happen from all these people being attached and involved? But um, it's probably something that, that touches me inside and then that's the thing I look at to how do you cast it, how do you bring people together, how, how do you answer all these questions um, on how to, how to best make, uh, how to best tell the story. And you tend to use a lot of the same people I, I definitely have, um, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a comfort, but it's always nice too to like once in a while bring in a different production designer because it takes you out of your element and, you know, but I, I, I try to use the same production designer, the same editor, um, I, but it, through different reasons, scheduling this, that, it doesn't always work out and you always like embrace the, 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 the fresh perspective. So yeah, a little both, but it's nice. Like I, like I hadn't worked with um, Larry Gilliard since The Waterboy. And I watched, he, he, he was the kicker in the word boy. And I watched his career uh, as he went on to The Wire and done such really good stuff and so happy for him. He was always a good New York actor. And then when I was doing um, uh, Hot Air, I was like, oh, he'd be great as the radio guy. And so it's so much fun to have somebody gone on their journey and come back now with a whole new set of talent. Yeah, so a little both. 